What's the crack, lads? What's going on? We are back with another Player of the Week review slash breakdown. There's no real training guides for these because you can't change their overalls, right? But we do have remaining three, it says there. So I have not spun for these. And to be honest with you, I don't know will I spin for these. But that is just me because of the squad that I have at the moment. I would like another version of Rafael Leao. I would like this Saka. Rodrigo is very unique. But mostly with these players, lads, you are kind of getting... I wouldn't say the best versions of these cards, but you are getting fairly solid versions of the cards that you don't need to train up. Like, for example, with Pepe here, right? Extremely good um, centre-back, very, very high aggression, defensive engagement, tackling, defensive awareness, and speed, jumping, physical contact, and heading. He's on unwavering form. Every single player skill that you could possibly want, apart from blocker, but you will not be able to train any additional skills on this card or, of course, be able to reset his training and be able to, you know, train him up in a different way, right? So that is kind of where you have to take the, you know, the chance when you're spinning for these, right? And you don't get a free spin this week on this on this one. You get a free spin on the other one. Uh, with the event, you get the free spin on the Worldwide November there. So Mbappe and Van Dijk and them. But I do like some of the cards in this, especially if you're starting off. If you're starting off or if you've got a mid-game squad... Um, apart from these guys at the back here, right, with the inconsistent form, even though he's down as a super sub, I wouldn't be spinning saying like, oh, I want to get this guy or I want to get Pepe. But if you do decide to go for it and try to get Saka or try to get somebody like that, and you do get these, I mean, some of them are very usable, man. They're not bad players, right? They are missing a couple of player skills and stuff. Um, but obviously, unless you're going to be spending big coins, you're not going to have a lot of epic and legends. So they're not bad at all, but it is mostly three or four good players. We have Nunes here as well, down as a creative midfielder. He's overshadowed, of course, by the Showtime players this week. Doesn't have that many player skills that you really need, but he does have outside curler, one-touch pass, and true passing. Low lofted is a must for a creative playmaker if you can give it to him. Um, but you can't train this guy. But if you do have a creative playmaker in your squad, definitely try have low lofted pass on him. It makes a difference. We also have Immobile. This guy down as a center forward. I don't think I've ever seen a good Immobile card, lads. I, I genuinely don't know anyone that could play well with him. He's just so clunky. I don't know why he's so clunky on the ball, even though he's got only 76 acceleration and 74 balance. Maybe that explains it. But um, yeah, he's a poor player as well, a poor selection. We've got Sommer, who's always decent, 91 awareness, 92 reflexes. As I said, let's I'll keep this short and sweet because if you are deciding to spin for these, um, you know, and you're going to spin 300 coins on it, I definitely think the only players that you should be spinning for are these four, which we'll get into in a second, right? We also have Marino uh, as down as a whole player. He's actually not a bad player, lads. He's tall, he's strong, he's physical. He's kind of something different that you get as an attacking midfielder. Um, if you are as a centre midfielder, is down as a whole player. He's also got some nice player skills. He does have aerial superiority and interception as well as one-touch pass. But again, he's missing that low lofted pass. So that moves us on to Griezmann, right? Griezmann is a player, genuinely, that I feel has gone so under the radar, lads. But he's a beast. Like, he's down as a centre midfielder here. But I would definitely be playing him as a SS or an attacking midfielder, especially if you don't have Messi. If you don't have one of the booster versions of Messi, I would definitely say give Griezmann a try. If you do spin him, play him as an SS. He's down as a whole player here. He's a phenomenal on the ball, double touch, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, one touch pass, and then that all important true passing and low lofted pass combo for an attacking midfielder slash SS. It is huge, like it is huge, because you do are you are able and you do get into different positions. Um, and I do like this Griezmann card, lads. It's a it's a phenomenal looking card if you know how to use his strengths. Low pass, ball control, lofted pass, finishing, very very nice. Yes, the balance is a little bit low. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. Right. We also have Saka, who's down as a right winger, but he can actually play left back, and he's an OP left back if you are used to playing with Roberto Carlos. He's very, very fast, very, very physical. Um, on the ball, you never really get thrown off the ball because of his tight possession or because of his dribbling and his balance. But that tight possession is the real balancer with this card. And that's the disappointing version um, of this card, why it makes it that way, right? But he does have soul control. He does have one-touch pass, low-lofted pass. He's got a lot of nice things going for him. But I definitely do think that you really should be playing this guy as just your burn and turn right winger. You know, he does have track back as well. So play him left wing or right wing and just track back and help your defense. Um, we have Rodrigo and Leao. We'll just cover Leao because Rodrigo is probably the most exciting one. Leao is down as a whole player. So we've seen Mbappe as a whole player. Now we're going to see Leao as a whole player. Inconsistent form. 
I wouldn't worry too much about that, lads, because I would definitely just keep him as my super sub. If you can afford that luxury, I have him on my squad as a super sub. If he's up, he is an absolute beast. One of the hardest players to get the ball off. And you know why that is? Is because of his physical contact, as you see there, right? So similar to Messi, the Messi card, Leao is one of the only players in the game that has like 90 plus speed and acceleration and dribbling or else 90 plus speed or acceleration with 90 dribbling and physical contact over 80 so there's a lot of players that have like very weak physical balance or very very weak physical contact or balance but this guy has both kind of high right now his inconsistent form is offset by the fact that he is a super sub so i would definitely keep him as a super sub 60 minutes gone or 75 minutes gone throw him on for 15 20 25 minutes and i'm telling you he will be a game changer for you especially if you're going to play him left wing or left mid he can just cut people to shreds and last but not least, we have Real Madrid's Rodrigo. I mean, we've all seen the clips of him by now of the skills. I mean, this guy seems to really be finding his feet up top with Vinny Jr. Um, they're a scary kind of attack and threat, the two of them. But listen, if you are going to be playing Rodrigo and you don't have a better center forward than him, I would say that you probably need to continue to build your squad and grind and get different players in. I would even say that for a center forward... Um, with the way the game is at the moment, I would say just grind for Mbappe or Lautaro Martinez because, you know, physically, um, he's not the strongest, he's not the best on the ball, but this Rodrigo is very, 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 very good, very good. He's down as a goal poacher, down as a center forward, um, speed, acceleration, balance, tight possession, uh, stamina is really good, finishing at 90 is huge. The big thing with this card, lads, is why I think I'd be excited about this card is if you have the luxury of having Leao or Rodrigo on um, your bench to be able to spring them on as super subs, or even two of them, they are game changers, even if you've got a godly squad. Now, if you've got, you know, Romanegi or Eto or David Villa on your bench or like big time Messi on your bench, this doesn't really apply to you. But for everybody else, these are some good, decent players that you can build your team around. I mean, Summer, uh, Griezmann, Leao and Rodrigo, I would say, are, are, are the top picks for me. So, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And uh, as ever, we will be back. We live stream every Thursday, Friday, Monday. So we will be back uh, whenever this video goes up. It'll probably be Friday. Um, and we'll be streaming later on today. So that is it for me, lads. Let me know if you guys are going to spin. Or let me know if you guys are going to skip. Because I feel at this stage in the game, when you've got other cards on here such as these national midfielders or even the worldwide players. I really feel that you should only be spinning if you're a newcomer, if you haven't got a, go a great squad, or else if you're looking for one of your favorite players. Like if you have never got a version of Saka and you're an Arsenal fan, or you just want to use Saka, I mean, it is nice if you get him in one spin, right? But for everybody else, I think that has a godly squad, these players are not really going to cut the mustard that much at the top level. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon, and I'll talk to you then. Peace!